Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, February 5th, 2022. Week 166. <laughs> right? Yeah. Week 166. It's a chilly morning today here in Michigan. Super wet, super chilly, super snowy. I'm done with this crap. <laughs> <sighs> Goodness gracious. Had some plans this week. We were going to go to an RV show over in Novi, not too far from us. And we got over a foot of snow that day. So we obviously played it safe and stayed home. Yep. Not fun, though, because I really wanted to go. Yeah, I took the day off and everything. It was not a regular day off for me. I took the day off and... Yeah. Snow day for Julia. She was excited because she had three snow days uh, this week. And... Uh, yeah, but our just our plans didn't quite work out like we hoped, and I guess that happens now and then. It does. Yep. So, let's get into some weights. <clears throat> Last week, I was 336. And this morning I was 336.8, so I'm going to call it 337, so I'm up roughly a pound. Uh -huh. But that's not bad. Yeah, no. Nah. It'd be all right. And I was last week waiting at 159, and this morning I waited at 158. So I'm headed in the right direction. Um, yeah. My struggles with the <clears throat> perimenopause, um, I finally started my cycle almost two weeks late. And then it was just a day and then spotting at this point. Well, that's the only plus Grr. of this whole thing is that the, the, the periods will eventually go away, won't they? Or do, I, did, I don't that's know. so they say. <laughs> this could last a while, though, huh? It could. It so could. i got to buckle in and just <laughs> keep dealing with it because it's, uh, it's, it's pretty frigidy in I'm the house. The plus. <laughs> You're always wow. hot. It's 63 degrees in there in the bedroom, and I'm freezing. I was going to say, on the plus side, I haven't had any hot flashes uh, probably in, what, the last three or four days. I stayed under the covers the entire night. At least, it's not, um, at least it's not summer where we have to run the air like, uh -huh. like a walk-in freezer. <laughs> You're right. So all I have to do is turn the, the heat down a notch or two, and then you're comfortable. So. Although, I, I've learned if I just go and I stand <laughs> on the cold tile by the door, that, that helps. usually helps cool the internal temperature down. You can go lay your your <laughs> skin on the back of like the front of the refrigerator or something. Yeah, that's not cold enough. Open the front door, but leave the screen door closed and <laughs> you'll feel that blast come through for right? <clears throat> two minutes and then close the door. Bill's such a sweetheart. He wears a CPAP, so... And that air that comes out of that CPAP is really chilly. It's cold. So he'll take the CPAP off and... <laughs> yeah, I'll cool. unclip it. Unclip it like you're going to go to the bathroom and leave your mask on. And then you just got this hose. So I just use it to kind of... It throws my CPAP off. It tells me that my mask is not on and that I've got all these errors. But that's not true. Right. It's just that I'm trying to help you cool down with the little... And the yeah. other thing he's not been so upset about is when he comes to bed, his hands are usually freezing, so he'll just put his I'm hands freezing. right on my belly and my chest, and I don't even, like, shoo him away. <laughs> yeah, you would think that I would feel like <clears throat> water evaporating off of your body from <laughs> from the cold touching the hot. But, uh, uh, yeah, I try and warm myself up because I can't even get to sleep because it's so cold. It's really cold in there. But I love you. I love you, too. I'm just going to start calling you Beth. <laughs> there's, a thing on, there's a thing on Yellowstone, if you don't watch the program, they, they say I love you, and then they say F you. No, she says F you, F you, I love, I love you. you. Yeah. <laughs> and then she walks away. So, And that's Beth. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So it's she been just, our new, new favorite joke. Yeah, so Stacy's, Stacy's uh, <laughs> been saying that to me a lot. But anyway. And he says it right back. Hey, we got some kind of cool uh, <laughs> stuff in the mail. Um, mm. We talked recently, like two weeks ago, I think, about making some little egg bite kind of things for, for meals and just prepping a little bit and just having fun with them. And uh, Dash makes two different ones. And they make a mini one with four. And then they make a larger one with nine. And we ordered both. Mm. And when we got them here... There were some... After the snow days, mind you. Yeah, very big discrepancies in oh. between the two units. And I thought it would be the same thing, 
just four in one and then nine in the other, and they were all going to be the same. The mini they're is different really size. <laughs> they're different sizes. They're different depths. The the one comes with like a egg McMuffin kind of thing, so it's a little bigger one where you could put it all on bread or an English muffin right. or something. Uh, the larger one I would have assumed would have had that, but it didn't. Um, they're just different. So what we're going to do is mix up some eggs. Stacy's going to pick some eggs up at Costco, mm -hmm. and because uh, we're almost out of eggs. And uh, we're going to mix up some eggs and just throw some different ingredients in it for fun. And we're going to try them out so you guys can see it too if you hadn't messed with one of those yet. And uh, give it a try and see what we think of it. Yeah. Um, the only concern I have is I know how you like to burn everything. So I have a feeling that this may not, it's not going to brown <coughs> and crisp an egg like a hockey puck like you like. So it might be hard for you to say it's not cooked, but it's going to be cooked fine. Just like the rest of the world. They, <laughs> and part of the things they say, and they'll be nice and creamy. So so, you, so, so prepare yourself now. It's going to have the texture of soft instead yeah. of hard and smushed and smashed. They're and, not. I just like my eggs dry. And then what she does is she puts ketchup all over mm. them anyway, which is gross. And then so she ruins the eggs after she's already turned them into like pothole filler. Ah, you exactly. Fix the roads with those <clears throat> eggs. Oh, come on. Yeah. She don't make me eggs, put it that way. I make you eggs, and you eat them. Mm -hmm. I take them out well before I would take mine out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we just have to make separate meals, that's all. Because mine has to come out when it's done like normal. Not overly cooked. It's I don't know. Cooked. But anyway... That's that. So we're going to mess with those little dashes and we're going to play with some egg bite things. Mm -hmm. We'll record it and we'll let you guys know the difference between the two. So you're, you know, if you're, I didn't even know there was going to be a difference. I thought the mini would be just yeah. four of the containers and that the large would be nine of the containers and it would all be the same container and everything would be what it was. And I actually was interested in using the mini in the van maybe, yeah. you know, for traveling and stuff because it's so small and so tiny. Um, but, but having them here like this, it's it's going to be interesting. I, I need to cook with both of them to be able to tell what I think. I think the minis have too small of an egg bite for yeah, me. Right. To me. Because it'd be like, be good okay, for a little kid. I eat four of them and now That's I'm ready one. for four more. <laughs> yeah. And the larger ones, they're more substantial. You could put one egg into each of the large yeah. rounds. So, but uh, yeah, so we'll show you all that stuff and talk about it and the pros and the cons of both the mini and the large. Yeah. I, I think I'm leaning more towards the larger one because of the portion size. Right. Because I'm an eater, if you had noticed. I'm feeling like a sausage. I'm feeling a little plucked, like plum, <laughs> like full. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'd say I'm feeling fat, but I am fat. So, uh, But I feel like stuffed or something like like we just ate Thanksgiving dinner and heck. I can relate. I feel the same way, you know, certainly with my weight being up, it's been very frustrating and <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. But we're here. It is Saturday and we're updating like we promised we would. And uh yeah. So let's uh let's try a little egg thing one night when yeah. you get home. Maybe even tonight because you're a short day today, no? No, no tomorrow's a short tomorrow's day. A short Sunday. Day. Maybe maybe tomorrow night. Maybe. If you're up for it. I'll clean the kitchen up and Get put some all the eggs. stuff together. Oh, my air fryer broke. The air fryer broke. I didn't even need to talk to you. No. I mean, no. Yesterday I made Julia some spring rolls and it started making this like, it almost sounded like a fan was like, um, like it was getting caught or like it was knocking on something. Aww. I don't know. I guess there's a fan in there of some yeah. kind. Yeah. And, and as it kept going on, it was getting stuck in grinding noise. Aww. But I, you know what? I probably used that thing five times more than anybody else would ever use an air fryer. I mean, it was just like my egg pan. I would just throw chicken in there and make it, you know. But well, yeah. here's the good thing is we have a brand new stove that, that has an, an air, air fryer, fryer in the stove. That's true. In the it, oven. It does have the air fryer feature. <clears throat> now but, you got to uh, figure out how to use it. <laughs> yeah, I was so bummed though that that little... Bugger, finally, I mean, I don't know. I could use it right now and it could work fine. But it was making all kinds of weird noises and I was kind of freaking out. And after I think it was like 12 minutes or whatever for yeah. her little spring rolls. 
I, I went out there and just turned it off because I was kind of getting weird about it. Yeah, like, I started a fire. Yeah, I was like, all right, <laughs> I don't, I don't trust this thing. I don't know what's going on. So, uh, but it's never done that before, and, and it hmm. made this weird, clangy, kind of grinding kind of noise. Yeah. I don't know if some food got in there, or I, I can't imagine it. it was just a spring roll that she had. Yeah. So, but hmm. anyway, I was really bummed about that. You've had that for a couple of years and you've used yeah, it, I probably every, say almost every day. Every day. Yeah. More than once a day because Julia likes stuff in there too. <laughs> so air fryers are very cool. I find a, found a little blurb on TikTok um, of a fried pickle. Yeah. I don't now, think pickles was much, <laughs> you know, much <laughs> less a fried pickle. Now a fried pickle, if it's done right, is good. I don't like the fried spears, but like the, the a chip, a pickle chip okay. is pretty good. Um, now this is just in cheese, which I oh. love cheese, well, that's and I love pickles. I know. So never really put cheese and pickles together, but I, you know, I've not, doesn't sound horrible. Well, on a hamburger you have, but just True. for the two of them. So I, I don't know. Um, I think I might have to try it because it's crisp, and they use it as a like a dipping in a sauce. Seems like that would be messy in the air fryer, though. You'd have to put it on foil or something. No, you do it in a well. It calls for it in a muffin top. Oh. Um, but we a muffin top pin. We don't have pin, one of those. Pan. We have um, muffin oh, pans. But we have a muffin pan, yeah. So you could just modify it and put it yeah. in the bottom of that. Just a smaller thing instead of the muffin top. I actually like those muffin top pans. You could yeah. probably make something else fun in that too. Yeah. Little pizzas in the Yeah, see. there you go, little pizzas. You just need to find me one. Right? Amazon. Every- <laughs> Yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. The muffin <laughs> yeah. top pan. Yeah, so it's a, shallower. It's a shallow and it's a wider base. Yeah. Of the, it's we a muffin a little, top. We do a little mini pizza in there with some pepperoni. Hmm. Maybe a mini fat head? Or just cheese with topping? Just cheese with the topping. I guess you could try a little mini fat head. Yeah. No, that'd be too much work. Just give me a full crust with pizza stuff on it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> it's, it's, well, I'd be like two bites, I'm done. <laughs> looking around like where what 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 else do i eat? Uh, so hey at least i'm honest about it that's true i eat i eat more than i should and that's why i'm still 337 <clears throat> pounds uh. but at least i'm eating better yeah mm-hmm. yeah. yeah sugars are better now that we're not sick anymore my sugars have Ugh. come back down so i'm feeling a lot better yeah i'm feeling like arthritic like joints hurt and like everything and I think, I don't know, I guess part of it's just the cold weather. And yeah. Maybe I just need to be more active. I, I do take a lot of different supplements that help with inflammations and things like that. So Yeah. I've, I've switched over to a naproxen myself, um, and that's helped quite a bit. On with my, your shoulder? Yeah, my bicep tendon. I have tendonitis, bursitis, and osteoarthritis, and a lot of <laughs> itises there. Um, <clears throat> so it's really still been bugging me from the shoulder. It's done really well. Um, I've out of that constant pain, um, and I switched over. They had me on ibuprofen, and they switched me over to um, a prescription uh, anti-inflammatory, and that's this last week has been really helpful. Very helpful. I think still doing physical therapy. Right? Yep, still doing physical therapy. Um, I actually kind of almost slept on my shoulder for about an hour on my side. I say my shoulder, but on my side, and. Uh, I had to roll back over because it hurt, but that's more than what I've gotten in a long time. So I'm pretty, pretty, pretty happy. I mean, things are going really well and uh, just keep working. Lord it. help me. Yep. Yeah. I think it'll be good. good. I'm, I'm, I'm out of that pain every day where I felt like I couldn't move my shoulder and mm-hmm. I just kind of kept my arm next yeah. to my body and now I'm actually feeling like I can move it. Ooh, Stacy's squeaking on the floor. She's got her Sorry. boots on. I gotta go What'd to work. you do? Go start your car? Yeah. Oh, okay. I gotta go to work, so. All right. Well, we're going to get going, guys. Everybody have a great weekend, and we will check in with you. And maybe this week we'll even have up a little bit of a Iggy yeah, Bite kind of dash yeah. thing, because those are really fun, and I'm having fun with them. So, yeah. We'll try. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Stay in. Yep. So, everybody have a good weekend, mm-hmm. and uh, if you're doing your keto, stick with it, and we're going to do the same. And uh, I just need to eat less because I'm a big pig. (laughs) See you later. Bye. I love you, Beth. (laughs) I can't say it. F you and I love you. Oh, okay. (laughs) 
the simple things we use ourselves with. I gotta go. I know, we're dorks. Goodbye. All right. Bye.